good morning. It's Monday morning. I'm probably going to have to stop and start this because the sun's going in and out, but I want to sit in the sun because I think it does us the world of good. And also, I want to say that I've really, not that I don't always think about my uh, vlogs, but I've really thought about this one and I want to get it right. So I have taken the day off work so that I can get this vlog right uh, for many reasons. Well, no, for one reason really is I have seen a lot on YouTube of people making up charitable boxes for the NHS. I've seen a lot of uh, so-called influencers uh, doing gifting and um, giveaways and prizes and everything. And I thought I really want to do something with all this stuff that I am sent. And I'm not sent that much, goodness me. Um, but I am sent a fair old amount. And there's only so much that you can get through. And I, um, I thought what I would do is make up a box of some of the products that I love. Not the ones that I don't love, but the ones that I love. Because, um, but only if there are duplicates. Because I'm going to be showing you these products that have been sent to me and that I am now using. Um, but I'm going to be handling them. So obviously, I can't put them in this box and then expect the people I'm giving it to to pick up stuff that I've been handling. So I'm only using the uh, products that are in duplicate that there are two of. So I will show you one version and put the untouched, unopened version into the box. Now, when I came up with this idea, I asked my listeners uh, what they thought of it. And there's a listener to my show, but she also follows me here, called Helena. And I hope you don't mind, Helena, because I said, I would love to give this stuff away. I can't go to a charity. There's nowhere. There's a beauty box that Sally Hughes does, which is fantastic. But it's easier for me if I just give it to someone um, on my way to work, who works around this area, who can take it and take it to um, the nurses who would benefit. Anyway, Helena emailed me back this, and I know she won't mind, I checked with her that I could read this to you. Golly, <laughs> Philip, you're gonna have to cut some of this. Right, uh, I'm a nurse at UCL, and my job is to look at the quality of care. I am based at uh, Queen's Square near Great Ormond Street. The nurses would absolutely love some beauty stuff. Many are in PPE and it's very stressful on their skin and that includes the male nurses too. So, I've chosen products that will work on any skin and also hair. I've got a hair product here as well that I've been using, I don't know if you've noticed. Um, but I've also got some makeup for male or female nurses and some lip stuff as well. So, let's get going. And as I say, um, I will list the products below because you may be interested in them. And so often at the end of my vlogs, people go, where did you get this? Where did you get that? So I will list them and then it's up to you um, if you're interested and in how you can get hold of them. Now Matilda is wandering around. Ooh, she's just sitting staring into space. So first up, I'm going to start with the more affordable and then get on to the more pricey products. So there's a, this was sent to me. This is um, a brand I'd never heard of before called Super Facialist. And um, I think you can get them on Amazon. I'm not sure. Again, I'll put the links below. It's very interesting. Uh, this particular, this is a toner and particularly this because it is called an anti-aging retinal revival toner. So when you've cleansed your face before you put on your makeup or and this is what i would do i would only use this at night you can use this as a toner and the retinol is in it which means it's a lower dose but it also means if you are going out in the day you need to slap on a really heavy spf because i would never put a retinol on um, in the morning but uh, if you're going to use this, I would use it at night uh, before you put a moisturiser on. Um, and as I say, it's, uh, it's quite affordable and it is a retinol toner. It's called Anti-Facialist, which is a new brand. So I'm putting that in the box. This is another uh, from Super Facialist. Now, I'm beginning to love face mists. 
I remember when they came out, I thought what an absolute waste of money just spraying myself with water because it'll dry my skin out. They obviously put essential oils or something in them um, and some of them are really lovely and refreshing. And I set my skincare, so I will put my serums on, my moisturizer, then give a spritz, then if I'm going to use, put on makeup, I don't wear foundation, but if I'm going to bronze or put on um, concealer and mascara or whatever, I will then set it again with this. And it's amazing, it is like a second skin. This one is a rose hydrate. It is very, oh gosh, it's very highly scented, but I quite like that. And I will take this into the studio with me because the studio is quite dehydrating. Um, so yes, a new brand, Super Facialist. They have loads of other products, check them out. Now, the other Super Facialist is a vitamin and brightening cleanser. So um, this is obviously you use before the toner. This is another, it's a, I love it because it's a cleansing oil and I don't like anything that foams up. I quite like the fact an oil is going to remove and let the makeup and the dirt slide off my face. So uh, yes, this is the Super Facialist Cleansing Oil um, and it is full of vitamins and very enriched and then you would follow it if you want a touch of retinol I would use those two together. Going up into the pricier range Goop now this is so this is Gwyneth Paltrow's brand and she certainly doesn't need me to help promote it but as I was saying oils are now becoming very very popular instead of creams and uh, moisturizers I really hardly ever use a moisturizer I will show you one that I've started to use so occasionally um, but this is hers this is her enriching face oil and she encourages you does Gwyneth to literally do a facial massage which you know given that we're in lockdown we'll probably save on you going and having a facial um, so you put a few drops into the palm of your hands massage it in and then before you go to bed do your own mini facial she says use it in conjunction with all her other products well of course she will and I don't ever use a whole range of products on my face I will use a, a moisturizer a toner a retinol a serum three different serums from three different brands. I would never stick to one brand. Um, but, you know, it's quite nice to introduce other products. So this is Gwyneth Paltrow's Enriching Face Oil. And I put that in the box as well. Now, this is something I love. Marlin and Goats, um, or Goitz, not sure how you present it. Present it? I don't know how you pronounce it. Marlin and Goitz. This, I saw them, and I'll tell you why I saw them, because in my local space, NK, they had a dog shampoo. And I thought, this is interesting. This is a very niche, quite expensive uh, beauty brand that's brought out a dog sh shampoo. Matilda. I hardly ever shampoo Matilda, but when I do, I want to use really good products. So I was intrigued by that. They have taken the dog shampoo off the market. They're bringing a new one in in the new year which I'm eagerly awaiting because I love their products. This, oh my gosh, this is so clever. In fact, it's almost doing them out of business because it's called the Meadow Foam Oil Balm. And I am going to show you this on my hand. This is a multi-purpose balm. Oh, look at this. So this can be used, and look immediately, it immediately goes into a wonderful oil. This can be used on your hands, your face, your neck, your hair, your dry legs. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely putting this in the box for the, um, for the nurses because my nails, my skin is just like a reptile, it's so dry. So is my hair, I don't know why, um, but also so are my legs, they're just so scaly. This, look at it, is brilliant. If eventually, when we go anywhere, um, or if you just wanna cut down and, and really uh, downsize in all your products, all you need is a tube of this. If I was going away, when I went to Kenya, 
That's what I would put because I could use this by the pool to coat my hair in the sunshine. I could use it at night after um, I've showered. You can use it on the flight to apply all over your hair, your face and your neck when you're dehydrating. It is genius. I love it. I love the smell of it. And I think it's new. I think it, I'm not sure, but I think it's new. They sent me two of these apprehensively. No, I will generously give one. Well, I'm not generous, am I? I wasn't, I didn't pay for this. I'm keeping one, but I'm definitely giving one to the nurses. Male or female will love it. So I will list that below. Very interesting. They are a New York company who are dog lovers. So I will always help promote them. That's going in the box. Now, oh my gosh, my hair. So there is someone who follows me on this vlog who actually has become a really good friend. And um, I'm so proud that he's a friend because he's a big name in the beauty industry. His name is Scott and he's given me loads of advice um, on YouTube and also on beauty because, and my hair. <laughs> um, and he, do you remember Nadine Baggett was saying, you know, you can do a toner, you can do something at home in these times. He has a range of products which are a wash in and they will restore your color. There's a picture of Scott Cornwall. Um, this is exactly what I need because my hair has gone very orange, very brassy in comparison to the roots and the gray. And what I want to do is just restore the color to lower the brassiness down and just give it a more muted hue. So um, he sent me three of these. I am going to donate one um, to any nurse, male or female, that wants to literally calm their color down in this time because the difference between orange bleach and dark roots this will restore it and condition it so i have the one in uh cool ash you just you can use it actually as a conditioner you can uh just leave it on your hair for a couple of minutes after you've washed it and it will really condition the hair or leave it on longer and give it a stronger all over tone um, and uh, it's called Color Rescue which is perfect it comes in all different colors but I'm telling you now I had to um, when I he sent me three of these I am keeping two and I'm putting one away and I was trying to find out where because people at work were asking what they can put on their hair you can get this in boots you can get it in Amazon on Amazon um, but it's selling out fast there are all different um, hair shades but this is i think this is the best one it's got the blue in it that you really need to bring down the bleach so that is scott cornwall color restore we all need that if we've been coloring our hair so if we've been bleaching it now finally i'm going to come on to oh there's a keeping with hair actually if you want a good old um intense mask argan oil wasn't that the the um Gosh, you could smell it everywhere in my gym. Um, Moroccan oil, sorry, Moroccan oil. This is one that, I need my glasses on this. I, I, my hair isn't long enough. If you've got really thick hair and you want to sleep in it in plaits or whatever, this is perfect for you. This is the Intense Hydrating Mask um, and it's by Moroccan Oil. Uh, look at that. Oh, gosh. The smell is wonderful. My hair, when I had longer hair, I would use this. My hair even now is too short for it. It would just flatten it. But that was sent to me. So um, I'm gonna keep one back that I will give one of my team when we come out of all this. But this one will go, um, well not this one, one that I haven't touched, will go into the box um, for the nurses. So yeah, Moroccan oil, deeply intense mask. Smells beautiful. But getting on to very quickly onto makeup, I don't know if you've been looking at my brows throughout this. I'm always very worried about brows because this sort of pornographic, big, thick brow that loads of the uh, young have. Great for them because they're young. My age, I'll just look like a drag artist. No bad thing that, but you know, I really don't want to go down that route. Um, so I was sent this, which is by Elf. And I'm going to talk about Elf because um, this is called uh, Wow Brow. And um, I'm using a grey Yves Saint Laurent um, eyebrow stick that Freya Barker, who comes on my show, recommended. I know it's strange, it's grey, but it suits every colour type. Then I used this by e.l.f. and I have never, it's like a setting gel that sets it because 
My eyebrows are so fair, I need to use pencil and it moves throughout the day. This sets it and um, it's by a company called Elf that I had never heard of. So I Googled them. They just sent me, they sent me three items. Actually, they sent me some eyeshadows as well, which I very seldom use eyeshadow. I'll put that in the box. Um, so I decided to Google them and they are vegan and uh, they don't test on animals. They have a very good pedigree. So I don't know where they've come from. They've been around for ages. Maybe they have. I love their blow brow. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm not that much of a one for gloss, lip gloss. I like their packaging. Um, and this is one called Lip, oh golly, gosh, Lip Lacquer, which is just a transparent one. I'll show you it when it's open. So there we go, that's uh, the transparent one to put on your lips. This, if I was going to use a lip lacquer, is my colour. I like burny, browny, burnt colours. Um, and this one is in, so I can tell you the colour, maroon. Gosh, it doesn't look like maroon. Anyway, those are e.l.f. products. So there is loads more, but I reckon that's as much as you can take in at the moment. And um, I'm going to see, hopefully, if Helena will um, send a picture of herself. I don't expect, gosh, they're busy. They're hard. They don't want to imagine me saying to them, could you send a picture so that I can put that up on my blog? I won't expect that at all. But um, I'm sure Helena will get all these products. There are far more, actually. These are just the ones that I personally am using myself. Um, I am hope she will get them to her. Matilda, did you enjoy that? There, Matilda. Matilda's been guarding the box as we were travelling. We're here now. I'm going to deliver it to the hospital and there that's done. And um, My thanks to all the companies who have, well, unintentionally probably contributed to these products. And as I say, I have enough. So um, I'm, it's not me being generous. I didn't pay for any of this. Um, but I just hope people will really benefit. Some people will really benefit from it um, who are not having stuff sent to them. Don't forget. Tune in on Sunday. I'll see you then.